I'm at the Spring Hill Peony Farm in the Central Highlands, about an hour northwest of Melbourne. It's a 28 hectare farm in the rich and rolling volcanic countryside between Dalesford and Kyneton. And I have to tell you that right now I feel like I'm in heaven, surrounded by over 10,000 stunning peonies, one of my all time favourite flowers. The peony is such a delicate and romantic blossom. I love it so much that it was my wedding flower. Let me introduce you to some of my favourite varieties. So this is the beautiful Lady Alexander Duff and it's a light pink double peony. Now peony plants can be quite prolific anyway. They can produce up to about 30 buds per plant. But this one is particularly prolific. It's also one of the early flowering varieties so it's one of the first to grace our gardens. This peony has one of the largest flower heads of all the varieties here at Spring Hill. Take a look at that, it's about 15 centimetres across. So this is the beautiful Monsieur Jules Ali. It's a mid-pink flower that blooms mid-season on these strong stems that can stand up to about hip height. It's just gorgeous. Some peonies are beautifully fragrant and often the darker the flower colour, the more intense the fragrance. So this one, which is called Felix Supreme, has a beautiful scent. It also flowers late season. So wouldn't it be fabulous to think you could plant those three varieties we talked about in your garden and have a succession of colour? exactly what's been achieved here by Nikki Thomas and her family who own Spring Hill Farm along with their gorgeous border collie. What makes these peonies even more special is that they only bloom for a short period every year. Honestly what a place of beauty, this is amazing. It's beautiful isn't it, look you just can't believe it. <laughs> no, peonies as far as the eye can see. So look you're talking to a fellow peony lover, I had peonies at my wedding. Oh, wonderful. But what is it that attracted you to the flower? So it's actually, um, it was my husband Mac who bought the land originally and he wanted to do flower farming and he thought daffs or something along those lines but his grandmother quickly changed his track to peonies because she said they're the queen of flowers so if you're going to do flowers you have to do the best. Yeah and do, it's it, true. do yeah. it properly, I <laughs> love that. And so what sort of peonies are you growing here? So these are herbaceous peonies that are cold climate, um, they uh, they grow really well in Canada and in China where they're actually covered in snow during winter. So we're just in the snow line here at about 700 above sea level and so they thrive in that frost environment. That's fantastic because most people don't know what to grow when they live in a frosty area. Yeah, so that's the benefit of living in the snow country. <laughs> <laughs> so they like a good frost? Good frost. They need a lot of frost in winter to then set the little stems into flower stems that then produces these gorgeous blooms. And the, the plants were actually planted by hand, 10,000 wow, of them. My head. <laughs> that's impressive, Every yeah, yeah. Hole. So when you look around, you can see that's a lot of work. And I love the colour selection that you've gone for. Well, we decided to go from beautiful white with a little tiny pink tinge on it, right through to the blush pinks, through into these deeper fuchsia colours. Once they're all bundled together, beautiful. Oh gosh, they just look so beautiful. Don't they? Yeah. yeah. And an interesting thing is when flowers open, they always fade to a lighter colour of what their original bud colour was, which is something that's quite extraordinary. People always wonder, oh, what happened to the colour? But that's what happens, they fade, which is beautiful too, isn't it? <laughs> I spotted the gorgeous little church on the drive-in. So what's the history there? Was that always on the property? It was. It was actually the original St Mark's Church for Spring Hill and it also was the schoolhouse for a few years before they actually built a purpose-built school. So it's got a lot of history and it's there now to do weddings. Well, what a picturesque place to get married. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> so get married in the church and then come up and have photos in the peony paddock when, you know, it's beautiful. I wish I'd known that before I got yeah. married. <laughs> 
with only 10 days to pick over 10,000 flowers, the family also invites members of the public to come and pick and picnic to their heart's content. Well, gorgeous family, gorgeous peonies. What more could you want? What a lovely day, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Now, Melissa, they tell me you've got uh, peonies in your history. So I do. we'd like to present you with this bunch. Oh, isn't that fantastic? This takes me back to my wedding day, the perfect bouquet. Oh, guys, I really appreciate that. Thank you. So, look, whether you are growing your own peonies at home or if you just happen to be in central Victoria around November, make sure you visit the Spring Hill Peony Farm to experience displays like this. Pick your own flowers and fall in love with the flower of love. Oh, and he wants to be part of it. Really, Disco? <laughs> oh, you love that, don't you? Yes. Love that.